As newspaper headlines try to interpret what invoking Article 31 of the Constitution means, Zambian President Edgar Lungu says his request to increase some police power is justified. The invocation of that power was not meant to harass people or perceived opponents in the political arena, but it's to curb the ever-growing lawlessness which we have seen in the recent past. But many ordinary Zambians are concerned about the declaration and what restrictions they may face. The state of emergency is to control the crime which is happening. As you can see, people are taking advantage of the movement of people. If I'm going to have time limits as to when I'm supposed to go to school, I think it's going to be inconveniencing because I would have some time that I've set for myself maybe to study. So if I'm having those limits, it's going to inconvenience my work at school. But Professor Kenneth Mwenda of the University of Pretoria says there is some confusion via Skype. He explains. Currently, the position is that there, there is no state of emergency in Zambia. I think there's a misapprehension uh, which is resulting from misunderstanding of, of the law. Uh, the current position is merely uh, a proclamation through a, a statutory instrument of a situation which, if not you know, monitored or controlled, could then lead to a state of emergency. That has never happened in Zambia before. Political tensions have been high in Zambia since opposition leader Hakayinde Hichilema was charged with treason earlier this year after his convoy allegedly refused to make way to the presidential motorcade. Many of the president's critics say the charge is politically motivated. But Mwenda says Lungu and Hichilema should move on for the sake of the country. Both Mr. Lungu, who's a lawyer like me, we, work, we both went to the same law school, and Mr. Hichilem, who also graduated from the University of Zambia, they are learned people, and they ought to realize that the country is bigger than the two of them. Meanwhile, a spokesman for UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says Zambia's problems should be addressed through dialogue among all stakeholders, including the opposition. Mariama Jalou, VOA News.